Hi, you guys. So, uh, you like my new background? Because I love it. I really love it. Um, but anyways, I just had to mention that because I really like it. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Anyways, so today is October 19th and I got my package of meds that I wanted to go over with you guys um, for what I'll be doing for my next cycle. Um, I should have everything goes well. My cycle will start next week. And I'm really hoping so. I, I'm, I've been feeling very crampy um, the past like two, three days. So I'm really hoping that it comes on time. Um, but I have PCOS, so you just, you really just never know. Um, but if I don't get it by Tuesday, I have to call into the doctor's office and let them know. So that way they can give me um, Provera to boost up to give me my period. Um, they just got to make sure that I don't... Um, I didn't ovulate late. If I ovulated late, they gotta make me wait. Um, but with PCOS, you don't always ovulate. So there's that. And without ovulation, most likely you're not gonna get your cycle or it'll be very, very delayed. Um, so yeah, so let's get into it, you guys. So it's a lot of the same meds um, that I took after my retrieval. Um, I know I went over all the meds prior um but let me start with what i have been taking um just to kind of catch you guys up so my doctor did um my thyroid check again now just as a reminder on a previous video if this is your first time at on my channel and you haven't watched the previous um videos i um had my daughter back on august 1st who passed away um, at birth and um, I was 22 weeks pregnant and it was due to high drops and high gromas and um, unexplained causes um, and they I, I went off all my meds like when I found out she was sick I, I just didn't care I went off all my meds um, so with that being said they they checked for everything so my thyroid, I was on thyroid medication. I was on Lev levothyroxine and they put me on that um, because my levels were within the normal range, but was like a little elevated. Um, so they just wanted me to be on a very low dose. So I, I was taking that through my whole IVF. Um, I started that like a month before my IVF started. So then I took myself off of it and then they tested me. So anyways, they did my thyroid and it came back normal. I've never had a high thyroid, um, but it is still, again, elevated um, within the normal range for, um, and they like it to be at a certain range for women that are trying to conceive, but I'm still very much in the normal range. However, she tested my antibodies and my antibodies are high. So I was diagnosed with, um, oh my Lord, I'm going to put it on the screen, you guys, because I don't remember the name. And when, it'll come to me and I'll I'll pop it in. <laughs> but um, So I was diagnosed with that. And so they put me back on levothyroxin. Um, and I went ahead and I Googled. <laughs> and that was the worst thing I could have done. So I've been freaking out. Um, I haven't really talked to my doctor since I've Googled. So <laughs> I'm... Um, I'm not in a good place when it comes to my new my new diagnosis. Um, she did reassure me that this had nothing to do with um, Willow um, and her her medical conditions. So yeah, so that was that. So I've been back on levothyroxine. I've started taking my prenatal vitamin. I also started taking a um, probiotic if I'm pronouncing it correctly, probiotic, um, vitamin, because since I was pregnant with Willow, I have had, 
I know this is TMI, you guys, but I want to be completely honest. I've had four, um, not UTIs, um, yeast infections, and I just suffered from another one. Um, so it started when I got pregnant with her, and so um, I did some research, and it's um, there's a lot of reasons, and some of them I could have crossed off. Like they say, if you have bad hygiene, which I know I don't because I shower almost every day um, and I take care of my lady parts. So <laughs> I'm, I know it wasn't that. So the only thing I could think of was a couple times just because I was on antibiotics and that as soon as I start the antibiotics, instant use infection. And it's, it's crazy how that works because um, I was on an antibiotic when I was pregnant with Willow and then I got use infection <laughs> and it kind of just spiraled from there. And then I just get off another antibiotic and um it instantly because I, I i got a tooth pulled so they had to put me on antibiotic but instantly a yeast infection so anyways i did research and it's because your my body is the the bad bacteria is fighting off the good bacteria or something like that and some women it's very rare but some women have an imbalance um where they they need to take have like extra of the good probiotic um bacteria so they say like eat yogurt or the thing that blew my mind was put yogurt down there which that is not happening um so i just decided to take a probiotic vitamin so i've been taking that as well um and let me tell you as soon as i started taking within a couple of days my yeast infection went bye bye so i was like yes win for me anyways so Let's get into the meds that I'm about to start taking. So I thought I was going to take um, birth control, but apparently I'm not. Either that or she hasn't told me I'm going to yet um, because that wasn't part of my prescriptions. Um, so we will see. So I have chosen to do a medical uh, medicated transfer, frozen transfer. Um, my first transfer with who became Willow, she was a fresh transfer. Um, and she was also medicated because I was doing my retrieval. So right after my retrieval, five days after my retrieval, we did a fresh transfer with her. Um, so this time all my embryos are frozen. So we're doing a fr frozen transfer. So it's a little different. So I just want to make sure that people that are going through the same thing that I went through are on their first frozen transfer after a fresh transfer. They pretty much know what to expect. Um, every protocol is different, but this is mine. So I just want that to be said, because yours may look different than mine does. Um, okay, with that being said, let's get into it. So this time I did not get a cooler, because last time I got a big, big box with a cooler. This is just a smaller box. So it's just a big, big bag. <laughs> so I am very fortunate that I have very good health care um, through my employer for I for infertility. So my medications I'm about to show you cost me $112. So the only thing with my insurance is so this is my endometrin. Um, they will only fill so many, which is their I think 30 day supply. Um, and I'm supposed to have a three, two or three months supply, I believe. So they didn't, the whole prescription was not filled. Um, this is all they could send me. And this alone was $102 or a hundred, a hundred and seven dollars, maybe a hundred, somewhere on there, like $107 for these two. This is the endometrin. Um, this is the progesterone vaginal inserts. Um, this is the same protocol that I did with when I got pregnant with Willow. So I wanted to keep it the same. I was very adamant making sure it's the same because it worked. Unfortunately, um, she just was sick and that's why I don't have her. Um, but that's that. So I got two of these boxes and then I got... my progesterone oil um really um so the i got three vials of these okay and just so you know what it looks like it's just this this is the vial um 
and I actually have still have three of these unopened. Um, and my doctor told me if I still had medication that was unopened and not expired, it was okay to use. Um, so I only got three more vials. Um, first of all, praying that it works because if it works, I'm going to need all three of these. Um, but mine don't expire until December of this year. Um, the ones from my last cycle. So I'm going to use these, but these were only $5 for all three. $5, you guys. That's it. That's all I paid. Um, so I do have these, but I'm going to use my older ones first, the ones that expire in December, because these expire next December. Um, like I said, she said, as long as they're unopened, which they are, um, because I had ordered another set of my meds. Um, and then she told me I could stop my meds. <laughs> so I ended up with three unopened vials. Um, then I got a shop container, which, um, through my pharmacy, I have CVS specialty pharmacy that I have to go through them because of my, um, that's through my prescription benefit is through. Uh, so they did, I do have to ask for this. They did not offer it to me. I had to ask for it, um, because my other one it was full. And so when it's full, you just put it in the, in, well, from what I was told, you just put it in the trash. You just close it up, like seal it up the um, thing up top and you can stick it right in your normal trash. So, um, that is what I did. And if I am wrong, I'm sorry. Don't, don't crucify me, you guys. This is what I was told to do. Just so that's what I did. Um, so I, I had asked for this and I had asked for swap, like the alcohol swaps. So, which is shocking. You would think that they would automatically send this to you with any needle that they send. Um, but they did not. So, but this is free. Just so you guys know, it is free. And then I got different kinds of set up with needles. Even though they're probably the same exact thing. My, I wish I, I could run into the other room and grab um, the needle that I have still. But these are different. So... The other ones that I got were, they were, the packaging was longer and it actually already had a needle on it connected to it. Um, but this is, this one does not have a needle at all to it. Instead, I got two packages of needles. So with the last order that I got, I got um, the pre-done needles, the ones that had the needle already on it with this. And then the, this, this package with a smaller needle. Um, but this time I got the big needle and the small needle separately. Um, so just so you're aware, this is, so I'll show you, this is, let me see, you know what, I'm going to open it. It's okay, they sent me plenty so you guys can see, just in case this is your first roundabout with the progesterone oil. So this is the bigger needle. The bigger needle does not you do not inject yourself with at all. This goes into the vial, which I'm going to show you guys once I start taking this. Um, but this is the needle. So it is a big, thick needle. Okay. Um, I'm trying to really focus on that for you guys, but it is thick and it is big. Okay. This one goes on first to get the medicine into the vial. Then you get rid of this one. And then, just gonna stick that in there. And then to inject, which I already actually have a video of this, you guys, somewhere below, but I am gonna do another one. Um, but this is a small needle that you inject into your botox okay a lot smaller but it it is long and the whole thing has to go in okay my mom freaks out because my mom does it for me and she freaks out she's like the whole thing i'm like yes yeah, the whole thing let me see if i can pull up the other one so you guys can see the difference where did that needle go found it all right so the pink one right here is the one that you use to get the medicine out. And then the gray one 
if I do this without stabbing myself. Hold on. The gray one is what you inject. Can you see the difference? So please don't inject yourself with this one because it will really hurt. But this is the one you inject. They are the same length. They are just a different width. Get the oil out of the vial, inject into your buttocks. Very simple. I was watching a um, video where the girl told me she was injecting herself with this needle for a while before she realized she was doing it wrong. I was like, holy crap. Ouch. So anyways, so this is that. Um, I'm just gonna dispose of these needles since they are no longer sterile. Um, but I just wanna go over the medication with you guys. So hopefully, hopefully next week will be cycle day one and we can get this thing going. So I did do a little estimation on when the transfer would happen and it will happen the week of Thanksgiving if all goes well. I'm hoping it's before that, but if all goes well, it will be the week of Thanksgiving. I still can't believe I'm doing this again, you guys. It's so crazy. In the end, it will be worth it. Right? That's what I'm gonna tell myself. So, that is it for today, you guys. I just kind of wanted to update with you um, on the medicine, the protocol that I'm on right now. Yes, until next time. Sorry, this is such a long video. I really try not to make them long, but see you hopefully next week.